Well, this video is definitely not about sawmills. Instead, it's a little job we did to pull core samples to determine the structure, structure of the soil. And it has to do with foundations and what it will bear. So this video uh, is basically a drilling rig pulling these core samples. A lot of repetition, but I thought I'd just kind of narrate it as we go here. For instance, right here, we picked up the first auger or bit. There's a bit on the bottom of it with some cut right. These are, I believe they're four inch augers. And uh, first off, before you even get started, you have to do an 811 call and survey the site, make sure there's no structures below grade. But anyway, here we go. We're going in the ground here and we are spudding in. So as soon as we get a, a foot or so below ground here, we're going to take a sample. And uh, we're going to take these samples all the way down. And you're going to see us with two different strings in the hole. One string is 40 foot of this auger. And then we remove that and we go back in with a tube that's hollow on the end so we can drill down and TD as we go. You will see it many times these little pins they're driving into the string. This is a lifting cap here, but the head of the pin actually wraps counterclockwise around the auger and the hole itself holds it in place. So we're setting down a hammer, a 40 pound hammer here, hydraulic hammer. And its purpose is to drive that hollow tube, tube down into the soil and hold, it'll hold that sample for us. And we'll basically pick it up out of the ground and feed it out of there into a bag. Also, we are counting the number of strokes it takes to get down. You'll also notice as this video progresses and the deeper we get, the more tools we have to use. This sample fell out easily into that bag. Later, we'll have to beat it out. You'll notice here that the driller is moving up and down in the hole. We call this a wiper trip. Basically what he's making sure is the, the borehole wall is firm and so it doesn't collapse as we pull out of the hole. The driller uses a hook on a hydraulic winch to pull the string out of the hole. The derrick itself can, as you see there, move in and out on a rack and right below that you'll see this hydraulic backup tong come into play here in a minute and it's just going to hold back up as they unscrew from it. And you can see here that it also acts as slips to keep the pipe from slipping back down into the hole. So we're deeper here, we're getting down, as you can see right there, it's uh, wetter, it's sand. Wet sand, so we're starting to get into some moisture. Sandy clay. Sandy clay. Clay. Depending sandy on the dirt that you're drilling through, yeah. you might. It's this rig will also drill with water, water or with air, but today it just wasn't needed. These guys knew we weren't going to need either one of those, so we're drilling it, drilling it dry. You'll see right here where the two strings are hanging in the derrick, right there. One the auger and the other is the hollow tube. We're fixing to take some more samples. And these guys had no fear about dropping something down the hole. They'd work right over the hole, which is not cool on a regular drilling rig. But they pulled this job off flawlessly.
I have to apologize for the, the wind noise here. The wind was blowing 30 miles an hour today, this day. But we are uh, driving down, fixing to pick up the hammer again and take another sample down deep. Like I said at the first, it's a repetitive process. So I'm going to jump here and we're going to go to where we hit water. And you'll see here where we are actually swabbing in the well. Uh, the clay and sand on it, it's, it's actually like a syringe and a, and a shot or a needle. So we're pulling this water up with us and then you'll see it fall back into the hole here. All of, all of this data is recorded. Where we hit water, the type of material that we're seeing on the auger, the samples are going in the bag and being logged. And um, so at the end of this video, I'll show you a, a lab report. But right here, we're, we're using a wiper rubber. Uh, normally this would go on top of the BOP on a drilling rig, but since there is no BOP here, blowout preventer, we just stick it below the tongs. And it serves to wipe down this string so they don't get their truck dirty. Keeps all the fluids in the hole. So we're coming down, coming out of the hole, laying down fixing to rig this rig down and move to the next borehole location and uh, coming up here I'll stick this draft of uh, a lab report in so you can see the end results uh, we're going to rig this rig down we're going to move it to the next hole you'll see it's track driven it's also remotely controlled nobody rides it before we move off this hole we'll have to fill in this hole as this guy's doing right here just shoveling the dirt back in the hole And I hope you enjoyed this video, and y'all have a blessed day.